Hey, this is Fernando coming to you from my hometown here in Geelong in Australia, just outside of Melbourne. It's uh, Thursday for us here, the 5th of July, but of course in some parts of the world, as in the US, it is the 4th of July. Um, it's a special day for you guys, a so happy 4th of July. Um, so wherever you are, uh, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. I wanted to come on uh, today and just share about uh, the quickest way, I'm just reading my notes here, the quickest way or the best way to outperform your competition and attract a surge of followers into your tribe. Now, if you are a student of attraction marketing, if you are trying to grow your network marketing business online and you're trying to use Facebook as a platform, one of them or other social media platforms, you've probably discovered that um, just putting content on your page about your company, your products, posting 20 times a day, uh, testimonials, how-tos, before and afters and all that sort of stuff probably isn't the way to do it. Uh, in fact, it's probably the quickest way to detract people. I call it uh, repulsion marketing, right? Even though people want to buy it, they don't want to be sold. And some of the comments I have people share with me that I coach is um, the frustration that even family and friends stop commenting on their own personal uh, posts about themselves, their family, their children, because they're afraid that they're going to be um, they're going to be hit about the company. So so you know that's not the way to go. So what is the best way to do it? Well, the best way to do it is to to build value. Now this is what I want to talk about. The best way to outperform competition and and, and attract such of followers is by leading with value. But that poses another challenge. And the challenge that people have is if I start giving a lot of value on, on social media, on my page and on my personal profile, and I'll give everything away, then people probably won't want to join with me because I'm giving everything away, right? Hang on a sec. <coughs> Sorry. So, so there's a fear, right? There's a fear that if you give away too much information, then there's no need for them to opt into anything if you're selling a product or if you're selling a service or if you're trying to recruit people into your business. But that, I have to tell you, is a misconception because there is a huge difference between what we call knowing and doing or information and transformation. And so really what's going to generate... Uh, lost my page. What's going to generate the, um, the results for people is not so much the information but the transformation. And in order to transform, they're going to need your help. And so... You shouldn't be afraid to, to share as much value, as much content as you can with people. Let them get a hold of that. Let them process that. But then when it comes to the implementation, who do you think they're going to look to, uh, look to for support? Of course, they're going to look to you, right? Because you are the person sharing the content. It's going to demonstrate a number of things. One, that you truly understand them that you are focused on helping them solve the problems. And what we have to remember is that people don't follow you because, um, because of what you do or because, or because of what results you have produced. They follow you because of what they perceive you can do for them to solve their pain, the things that are keeping them up at night, the things that uh, they want to resolve. So it is a, a selfish thing in that regard that they're trying to find answers for themselves. So in you leading with value and providing loads of information, loads of training, loads of content, what that's going to do is help them uh, feel like, well, you really care. And, and having said that, they're still going to need support in the transformation. Now, if you do that one thing alone, you're going to stand apart from everybody else because most people want to just give a little bit and feel like, I, I just want to give a little bit of a teaser, but I don't want to give too much because I want to buy something. Like, you got to stop thinking about the money. you got to stop thinking about the results you're going to get for yourself and truly focus on the person that you want to help, the person that you want to serve, because as you do that, everything else happens on the back end. And you're not going to have an attachment to that outcome, which means you're going to be even freer to give. Now, I heard this said by a, a, a coach, uh, actually somebody that I look up to, somebody that I follow. Um, he said that if you give away more for free than what most people charge for, you will become a thought leader. How cool would that be? Think about that for one second. If you give away, give away for free, more than what other people charge for, you will become a thought leader. And so what there's, there's so many aspects to that. One is, is having the certainty, one is having the conviction, one is having um, the assurance 
that as you give it all away, you're not going to do yourself out of money, you're not going to miss out on opportunity, you're just serving people. And what that means is people will want to follow you, become part of your tribe. So I did say here in the title, how to grow your tribe the quickest way. The quickest way to grow your tribe is to live with value and not just little bits of value, but loads of value, right? Loads of value, knowing that people are still going to look to you for transformation. So they need to learn how to implement. Uh, if it was just about the information, think about how much information is avail uh, readily available already in social media, on YouTube, about marketing, network marketing, sales, psychology, mindset. There's like millions and millions, right, of um, resources available, and yet people are struggling. And the reason they're struggling is not because of lack of knowledge, they're struggling because of lack of implementation. So you providing that knowledge and you being the person that can help them implement makes you very attractive, and that's what attraction marketing is about, uh, being perceived as the person that can help solve a problem. And then you'll attract people that may want to look to partner with you in your network marketing business. And I have to tell you that people that have partnered with me, they don't partner with me because of the company that I'm with. They partner with me because of their perception of the value that they feel I am going to bring to them as a mentor, as a coach, as a trainer, as a leader, as a teacher. And, and the only way I've been able to do that is by providing value. So this is my personal experience, uh, and it's not just my experience, it's the experience of my business partners and other people that I've worked with and people that I follow and my own mentors as well. So the, the takeaway for you from this message is don't be afraid to lead with value. If you're learning something and you understand it and you know that it's the solution to the problem that your audience are experiencing, go, go ahead and give it away. Structure it in a way that makes sense to them, that they listen to it, that they look at it and say, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I needed. This is what's gonna help me change my life, change my results. And as they start to, to follow you, they get to know you, they get to like you, they get to trust you. And then of course, that's what creates the opportunities for people to reach out, put their hand up and say, hey, I wanna know more about what you do. How do you do it? How could we partner together? I've done that before with mentors. I've had people do that with me, and there's no reason why universe is going to single you out and say, hey, nobody's going to partner with you because I'm going to close the door. Absolutely not, right? You control that. You determine that, but there has to be a switch. There has to be a mental switch for you where you say, I don't want to get, I want to give, right? And the more, the more you give and the more freely you give, then the more you become uh, attractive and available for people to want to follow you. So there's my message. Um, hope that makes a difference. Uh, we could even go further and talk about Facebook Live and the fears of Facebook Live and wanting to give will make it so much easier for you because you're not attached to what people are going to say. You just want to serve them, love them, empower them because you understand what's, um, what's, uh, what's their pain and how to help them move forward. So go ahead and share this video, this message with your team. Share it with someone that you know needs to hear this to empower them, to help them grow. Um, go ahead and do your own video from this or take some notes and listen to it again because there is a lot of value here. I promise you, if you listen to this again and you really get present to this and you commit to yourself to start to add value, you may just see a shift in your results in your business.